What's up, y'all? <clears throat> happy, excuse me. Happy uh, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, wonderful Wednesday. It's a bright day today. Bright and sunny. <clears throat> Should I had to add the windows down? Should I had to, I had to, I had to put the AC on and everything. I got a little, I got a little warm in here. So, um, got, I got warm in here. I don't know, I'm coming down with some sickness or, or like allergies or something. So, excuse me. My voice is a little bit different. I got the sniffles, so please excuse me. I just hope everybody has a good day today. May God be with you. May his angels be with you. Protect you. Keep you safe. Uh, Heavenly Father, may your angels be May you forgive us for our sin. May you rebuke the devil, Jehovah God, from, from any of you. Everyone that's watching this, connected to this prayer, Jehovah God, rebuke the devil, rebuke our evil, rebuke our wickedness, rebuke our witchcraft, and we rebuke everything, Jehovah God, that's thrown out as any attack, e any evil attack, Jehovah God. May, you, may it be met with your fire, Jehovah God, and may it just exterminate, extinguish, and just, just evaporate, Jehovah God, and, and all that evilness. And, and, and we pray for our enemies. We pray for the, we, we forgive them, for God, Jehovah God. So, uh, uh, we forgive them for the trespasses as, as, and we ask that you please forgive us for our trespasses as well, Jehovah God. Please forgive us for our sins, Jehovah God. We love you, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the ultimate sacrifice you made for our sins. Thank you for the blood that you give us to restore our bodies for the, and, th and thank you for the, uh, uh, the salvation and the, uh, and the, and the forgiveness that you've given us. And, to, and thank you, Jehovah God. All glory to you, Father. So we just pray and we just thank you, Jesus Christ. And, and we just pray. We love you. In the name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Glory to our Father. Glory to Jehovah God. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to uh, let's go to Isaiah 35, 10. Good morning, everybody. It's 10, 10. Hopefully, everybody is having a good day today. Uh, we're going to see how much I can record. You know me. I'm chipped out on the... On the I'll be running out of a room to record, whatever you call it. So Isaiah 35, 10, let's go ahead and stay focused. Let's get this done. Otherwise, if not, we allow the uh, enemy to sneak up on us. And uh, we can't allow that. We can't allow that. So just, just stay on top of the game. So, um, you know, let them know, hey, hey, hey. once they come around that corner, once they come like a boom. Oh, I'm sorry, like that. <laughs> not like that, but like, hello. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hit him with the spirit like that. All right, so 3510 is going to be uh, those redeemed by Jehovah will return and come to Zion with a joyful cry. An ending joy will crown their heads. Exultation and rejoicing will be theirs, and grief and sighing will flee away. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So let's go to uh, Isaiah 5111. And this is from the other day. It's from the other day. We stopped on the. Uh, I'll, I'll look, it's on there, but we stopped on the other day. So 5111 is going to read The redeemed ones of Jehovah will return. They will come to Zion with a joyful cry, and unending joy will crown them. Exultation and rejoicing will be theirs, and grief and sighing will flee away. <laughs> Ain't that just the same, basically the whole the same thing we just read? And uh, we stopped this on 9 30, so that was on uh, 9 30 was on Monday at 11 39 a.m. So I got to look at whatever we did at that time. So uh, we're going to go Isaiah 53. Uh, wait, wait. Isaiah 9 and 10, 49 and 10. Isaiah 49 and 10. I know, right? Like, like, what happened? What happened, Chris? You got a lot of energy this one. I know, right? I know. I can't believe we do this. Go up onto a high mountain, you woman bringing good news for Zion. Raise your voice with power, you woman bringing good news for Jerusalem. And raise it. Do not be afraid. Announce to the cities of Judah, here is your God. Look, the servant Lord. The sovereign Lord Jehovah will come with power and his armor will rule for him. Look, his reward is with him and the ways he pays is before him. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Let's go to Isaiah 53 1. Amen. Amen. I like the one with flowing good. And that says, uh, Who has put faith in the thing heard from us and as of the arm of Jehovah? To whom has he been? Who has it been revealed? Who has put faith in the thing heard from us and as for the arm of Jehovah, to whom has it been revealed? Amen. Amen. I was, I was like, I like it when it's on the flow. It's all been like Isaiah 45, Isaiah 50, 53. It's all been like all close. <laughs> all right, let's go to... Uh... <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. I lost my spot. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Um... <laughs> let's go to... Uh... That was a day of what? 53 1. Let's go to Isaiah 45. Back to Isaiah 40. We're just there. I'm just reading it up. And that one says, uh, The glory of Jehovah will be revealed, and all the flesh will see it together, for the mouth of Jehovah has spoken. I'm going to repeat that. 
Bro, Isaiah 45, the glory of Jehovah will be revealed and all the flesh, uh, all flesh, all humans will see it together for the mouth of Jehovah has spoken. All humans. Amen. Excuse me. All right, let's go to Isaiah uh, 49, 6. I guess we're going over something in Isaiah. And that one says, uh, and he said, if, if it is not enough that you are my servant, uh, to rise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back those who were preserved of Israel. I have also given you as a light of nations so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. I repeat that. And he said, it is not enough that you are my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back those who were preserved of Israel. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have also given you as a light of nations so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. Amen. Let's go to uh, Leviticus 26, 11, and 12. Leviticus 26, 11, and 12. Yeah, sometimes when I get into it, just chill out, you know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll start back. I'll start back to, to, to reality real quick. <laughs> and I will place my tabernacle in your midst, and I will not reject you, and I will walk among you and be your God, and for your part will be my people. I am Jehovah your God. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. God is good. It says, and I will make a place, my I will make and I will place my tabernacle in your midst, and I will not reject you. I will walk among you and be your God and be your and you for your part will be my people. I am Jehovah your God. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. God is good. Let's go to Exodus 6 and uh 7. Exodus 6 verse 7. And I will take you in as my people, and I will be your God, and you will certainly know that I am Jehovah your God, who is bringing you out from under the burdens of Egypt. Amen. Jehovah God is powerful. Jehovah God is amazing. Let's go to Isaiah 12, 6. Isaiah 12, 6. Back to Isaiah. Verse 6 and it says, Cry out and shout for joy, you inhabitant of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalms 22 27. Let's see, 7 minutes and 35 seconds. Uh, Psalms 22 27. Oops, on this side of the Bible. Wrong, wrong side, Chris. Well, what happened was uh, all the ends of the earth will remember and turn to Jehovah. All the families of the nations will bow down before you. Is that the right one? 22, 27. Let's see. What does that mean? Let's see. Uh, let's go to K. Let's go to uh, Genesis 22, 18. And then under, that's after the multiplication. We'll do 22, 17 and 18. And it says, I will surely bless you and I will surely multiply your offspring like the stars of the heavens and like the grains of the sand of the seashore. And your offspring will take possession of the gate of his enemies. 18. And by means of your offspring, all nations of the earth will obtain a blessing for themselves because you have listened to my voice. Amen. Let's go to uh, Galatians 3 8 real quick. I will call it that one. Galatians 3 8 is going to be. Come on, Chris, get there, get there. Oh, we pop on. Galatians 3 8. That's the Corinthians. Go, you pop on. Uh, now, the scripture foreseeing that God will declare people of the nations righteous through faith, declare the good news before a uh, means of you, all the nations will be blessed. So that so those adhere to faith are being blessed together with Abraham, who had faith. Okay, I repeat that. So surely you know that it is those who adhere to faith who are sons of Abraham. Now the scripture foreseeing that God would declare people of the nations righteous through faith, declared the good news beforehand to Abraham, namely, by means of you, all the nations will be blessed. So those who adhere to the faith are being blessed together with Abraham who had faith. Hallelujah. Faith and blessed go together. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> let's go to uh, let's go to Genesis 22, 18. Let's go to uh, Revelation 7, 9. Revelation 7, 9. 
that's gonna say good morning hopefully good day hopefully everybody has a good day good afternoon and seven nine says after this i saw and looked a great crowd which no man was able to number out of all the nations and tribes and peoples and tongues standing before the throne and before the lamb dressed in right robes and there were palm branches in their hands and they kept shouting with a loud voice saying salvation we owe to our god who is seated on the throne and to the lamb salvation we owe to our god who is seated on the throne and to our lamb to the lamb Amen. Let's go to uh, Revelations 15, 4. 10 minutes. We're doing okay. It says, Who will not really fear you, Jehovah, and glorify your name, for you alone are loyal. For all the nations will come and worship before you, because your righteous decrees have been revealed. It says, Great and wonderful you are your works, Jehovah God, the Almighty. Righteous and true are your ways, King of Eternity. Who will not really fear you, Jehovah, and glorify your name? For, your, for you alone are loyal, for all the nations will come and worship before you, because your righteous decrees have been revealed. Amen. Let's go to Isaiah uh, 2, 2, 3. In the final part of the days, the mountain of the house of Jehovah will become firmly established above the top of the mountains, and it will be raised up above the hills until all the nations will stream, and many peoples will go and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of Jehovah, to the house of the God of Jacob. He will instruct us about his ways, and he will walk in his paths. For law will go out of Zion, and the word of Jehovah out of Jerusalem. Amen. <clears throat> Let's go to uh, Zechariah 8, 22 and 23. Zechariah 8, 22 and 23. Into the First Testament. <clears throat> many people and many ah and many peoples and mighty nations will come to seek Jehovah of armies to Jeru in Jerusalem. And beg for the favor of Jehovah. This is what Jehovah of armies says. In those days, ten men out of all languages of the nations will take hold. Yes, they will take firm hold of the robe of the Jew. Saying, we want to go with you. For we have heard the people. We heard that God is with your people. Saying, we want to go with you. For we have heard that God is with your people. Amen. 13 minutes. Let's see. Let's finish this up real quick. Let's go to uh, Second Chronicles 6:6. Six, six. Second Chronicles 6:6. Six, six. I like to get all my scriptures done. I'm, I'm not done, but like at least the little sections I put them in. Uh, but I have chosen Jerusalem for my name to be remain there, and I have chosen to be David, and I've chosen David to be over my people Israel it says but I have chosen Jerusalem for my name to be remain there and I have chosen David to be over my people uh, Israel let's go to Zechariah 117 we'll call, it a, we'll call that a video and we'll call that a, a good morning a good a good start of your day however you want to say it Jehovah God May you may all curses and, and witchcraft backfire in the name of the Son Jesus Christ. We pray by your fire, Jehovah God, in the name of the Son Jesus Christ. We pray, Amen. It says, Therefore, this is what Jehovah says I will return to Jerusalem with mercy, and my own house will be built in her, declares Jehovah of armies, and a measuring line will be stretched out over Jerusalem. Call out once more and say, This is what Jehovah of armies says My cities again will, will again choose Jerusalem. Then I looked up and saw four horns, so I asked the angel who was speaking to with me for all those who replied, these are the horns that dispersed Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. I finished chapter one. 
Even though it's kind of a difference. As Jehovah then showed me four craftsmen. I asked, "What are these? Thing, what is these coming to do?" He said, "These are the horn. These are the horns that disperse Judah to such an extent that no one has able to raise his head. These others will come to terrify them, to cast down the horns of the nations that lifted up their horns against the land of Judah in order to disperse her." <clears throat> and uh, I'm gonna finish it off with my. Uh, Psalms 91 to 94, one of them, real quick, Jehovah God, let's get there, please, Psalms, three and four, four, those are my favorite, those are my, those are my strongest ones, whatever, for he will rescue you from the trap of the bird capture from the destructive pestilence, with his pinions he will cover you, and under his wings you will take refuge. His faithful, his faithfulness will be uh, a large shield and a protective wall. Amen. Because you said Jehovah is my refuge, you have made the Most High your dwelling. No disaster will befall you. No plague will come near your tent. For he will give his angels a command concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will carry you on their hands so that you may not strike at your foot against a stone. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a good day. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Have a good Wednesday. And y'all, we be protected. And uh, go spread the love. Go spread God's love. Be kind and be nice. And uh, go spread God's love. We're here to spread God's love. I love you. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Amen.